go in. That is the and it's abused. <laughs> I'm doing it. So I've got the, um, let's take a little. Now then crew, and welcome to the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. I've got tool girl Hannah with me today. Well, now on this particular video, we're going to do a quick oil change on a Suzuki GN250, a very common bike uh, around the world. These have been on the market now since probably very early 80s, uh, and then production was shifted across to China, unfortunately, so quality went down a little bit, unfortunately, but uh, still a very, very popular learner bike. And of course, oil changes need to be done. So, tall girl Hala, if you want to come down here. Hi there. Come and say hello, yes. Hello. <laughs> right. Now, you're going to need some, obviously, some new parts for this job. And I've picked up a high flow filter. And the part number is HF136. And you'll find these on the high flow website. So, you've got to pull that out of the box and we can have a look what's going on. Sure. Poor little GN. We're going to fix it. What do we got? There we go, look. So that's what it looks like, and it's very important that you use the correct oil filter, otherwise you're going to have problems. And buy a quality filter too, not one of these cheap shitty ones. Uh, I always try to use genuine uh, manufacturer's parts, but on this occasion I couldn't get hold of a genuine Suzuki oil filter in time for the video. Right, so one filter, and we're also going to need some oil. Now, as most of you know, I work for Yamaha, so we're going to use some Yamalube, and it's semi-synthetic 10W40. And you'll need, for an oil change, 1.3 litres of this oil. And I think we've got just enough left in this can. OK, well, before we start, we need to warm the engine up. We don't want it red hot, just maybe five minutes of running, just to, to warm the oil through and get it a bit more runny. So when we undo the drain bung, the oil comes out nice and quick. Right, are you ready to get dirty? Sounds good, yes. Yeah, bit of oil on you. Oh, why not? Absolutely. <laughs> right, here we go, crew. OK, Hannah, if you want to um, just start the bike up for us. Ignition on, and you've got your fire. Is it going to go? You're going to need to wear some gloves because we're dealing with engine oil here. What size is it? Perfect. Right. Yep. Let's get to it. Okay, you're going to need that. Cool. That's going to drain all the oil in. Okay, so I'm popping it. Yep, just under the sump. Okay. Perfect. Good job. Crouch down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then, can you see that bolt just under there? Yep, sure can. So if you're slacking that off two or three turns, it's going to be reasonably tight. Oh. There you go. You got it? And then, if you want, you can take the ratchet off. Yeah, it feels good. Just loose. give it a yeah. twizzle. Yeah, that's loose. And I'm going to pop that under there. There we go, look. And now. Keep going? Now you're going to get oily. Yay. Yeah, just keep going. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be too hot. We're going to get dirty. Yeah, I reckon. Okay, yeah. There you go. Brilliant. And you can set the bolts on the edge. Perfect. And we'll give that a minute or two to drain off. Awesome. And while that's doing that, we can take the filter out. Okay. Okay, Hannah, you're going to need to change that 17 mil socket for a 10. Okay. All right. And then that one. Super job. Great. Okay. Now, if you look on the casing, you've got these three bolts. Yep. Or three nuts, in fact. Uh -huh. You can slacken those off for us. Okay. Take my cutting going. Other way. No, okay. Thank you, Lucy. I'll get used to it. Is it a 10 on there or an 11? Oh, Jeez. crikey, 
Dexon. You spotted that straight away. <laughs> there is right. no ten. Oh, it's, it's already out. Hang on, man. Where is the ten gone? What do we do with that? Yeah. There, it's in the 12. Oh, it was living in the 12. Yeah, I'll tell you who it is there. Terrible. Probably me. <laughs> we'll blame it on you. Absolutely. Right, so we're going to slacken those off, and what will happen is this plate Sorry. here will come away from the engine, and inside there is the old oil filter. That's it, so we just crack all three off, and then we'll use our fingers to take it out. Now, what we don't want okay. is to drop the nuts uh -huh. in the oil. Right. So, we'll whistle those off, pop them on the bench. Okay. I'll hold the plate in place for you. And it is spring loaded, you can feel that tension. And I am getting. You're getting oily again, aren't you? A bit messy. There we go. It's hard, isn't it? You've got oil on your gloves. Yep. Trying to grip all the stuff is a nightmare. Okay, hang on. How many yes. fingers does it take? Right. Okay. There we go. And now you can take that plate off mm -hmm. and just pop that down on the bench somewhere. There we go. Right, one oil filter. So you'll need a little. Awesome. Little flat screwdriver. There you go. Look, give your hands a bit of a clean. Thanks, Andy. And then we can just pop that filter out. Now make a note of which way around the filter goes. We've got okay. this, this little. So it's blanked off to the outside. There's a yeah. little one-way valve there. Okay. So if you just give it a little lever, mm -hmm. and you can take that out. There you go. Nice. Super. Pop that. Yeah, you just stick it in the oil for now, John. Yeah, because it's old, isn't it? Yep. It's going. Yep. It's, it's time for the bin. Okay. And if you get the rag mm -hmm. and give inside where the oil filter sits, give that a bit of a clean. That's it. That'll be good. Right, yeah. just going to find the new filter. Right, so there's your new filter. If you want to pop Thank that in. You. That's it, correct way around. Perfect. And if you just give that O ring a little bit of a clean before you pop it in, just make sure that there's no cracks or perishing on that O ring. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks good. If you haven't got another row, you can always use a bit of sealant around there as well. And that can go back on again. Super. Right, I'll come around this side. I'll just give you I'll give you a reach around arm. Okay. And I can I can hold that for you. You're getting good at this, aren't yes. you? There you go. Just gotta get it on. Yeah, get the threads right. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Cool. And then righty tidy or? Uh, yeah, you can tweak them up with the ratchet. Yeah. But don't go mad because we're going to use a torque wrench. So we're gonna. That'll do. Perfect. Super job. All good. Right, now we've got a slightly different torque wrench this time, but we've got the same scales. We've got Newton meters and uh, inch pounds. So we're going to want 10, the spec is 8 to 12 Newton meters for those okay. nuts. Mm -hmm. So we're going to aim for 10 Newton meters. Now this is a bit more of a difficult scale to read. So you see we've got 9.6 yeah. and then the, the line just digs down. Mm -hmm. So it's where it meets that, that vertical line is where 9.6 is. Oh, okay. So we'll just twizzle it up there to 9.6, and then when we go to zero, that'll be 10. Okay. All right, so 10 newton meters, and you need your 10 mil socket again. So okay. you grab your ratchet. That's the one. Pop that on there. And then we can make sure we're in doing up mode. You should be on a torque wrench. They're normally not used the way. There we go. And to lock this one, it's a bit different to the other one. Yeah. Okay. Push that up, okay. and it should lock into those little teeth. Oh, yeah. So you can do that. Cool. Right. Okay. Away you go. So it's the same click, and this time it's a really gentle click that you'll feel, and it's okay. it's important you don't go beyond it. Yeah. Steady. Ooh. Oh. Think. Let's have a quick, quick go. Yeah, that's it. So you're already at torque oh, on that one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really, it's actually quite gentle, it's a lot less ah, than the bolts okay, on the handlebars. That's it. That's it. Oh, That's the lot. I was waiting for a click like the other ones. Mm, you know? It's quite quite discreet this one. Okay. Done it again. You yep. got it. Got That's it. it. That's 10 newton uh -huh. meters. It's not a lot, is wow. it? No. Crazy. 
Oh good. Okay, so we're going to train you up properly. So you need the rag, <laughs> you need the rag, that's and right. we can just clean off any any oil that's dribbled down the engine casing. And then we're so close. There's a little bit just under there. Look, that's coming out of the casing. That's it. Keep the customer happy. Yeah, absolutely. Be nice and clean. Okay, Hannah, if you want to grab the sump bun, this one, give that a bit of a clean. I'll get rid of this for you. I don't need that anymore. Okay, that's, that's rubbish. Okay, yep. Thread that now back into the uh, the sump. Yep. Oh, straight in. Look at that. <laughs> no messing about. No. Nope. Right. Just clean up. Good job. So now what we need is the big torque wrench, okay. and um, I'm going to find out what the torque setting is for that. Oh, I'm terrible. We didn't back it off last time, did we? Oh. So we'll just back it off okay. to zero, and then if you want to twizzle that round to 20 newton meters, uh -huh. and, then, and then lock it off. For yep, us. sure thing. You got it. Perfect. Good job. There we go. Right, there's your adapter. Okay. And we're going to need that 17 mil socket. Which you very well put away because I'm, I'm terrible for not putting them away. There you go, that's Thank for you. Thank you very much. And again, this, this is going to be more of a positive click this time. Okay. And you're going to need to be on the other side of the bike. Okay. Because you want to pull towards yourself. Sure. Ready? Go for it. That's the one. So keep going until you, until you feel that click. Yeah. Was that it? Yeah, I think that was it. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Just do it one more, just double check. Oh, you got it on straight away first time. That's it. Yeah. Brilliant. So 20 newton meters for that one. Cool. Now we need some lube. Woohoo! <laughs> Super. Right, if you grab the can of oil on there, look. Oil. That's the one. Yeah. And I'll get us a measuring jug. Pull that off. Okay. Now this is only one litre, so you can fill that right to the top. Okay, okay. To the, the one litre mark. Yep. Hopefully we've got enough. I bet you're quite good at pouring pints as well, aren't you? Oh. Oh. Do you realise it's my job to put you off as much as possible while you're doing that? <laughs> okay. Well, we could two could play that game, Andy. I reckon so. Prove that point already. <laughs> right, bullnose pliers, I think. Which are these ones? Excellent. Awesome. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, so this is where we fill the engine with oil, mm -hmm. and quite often these are a bit tight to undo. Okay. So you can use the pliers. Oh, hang on, like this. Look, okay. use the pliers like that. Oh yeah. And then you can just uh, okay. pull it around. Mm -hmm. There you go. Let's give it a go. Oh yes, look at that. So easy, oh. isn't it? Tricks of the trade. Okay. That's it. Okay. Pop that down the bench. I'll get your funnel for you. Thank you. Need more of those. A bit angly, but it's a bit yeah, yeah. See if you can sit it. I wonder if it'll sit. There, yeah, turn it like that. Okay. Just go steady. We don't want it pouring all over yeah, you. Yeah, no. That's for later on. <laughs> right then. I'm pouring it in. Excellent. So you can put all of that in. Okay. And then we'll measure out another 300 mil. Okay. And that should be enough. Oh shit, the tripod's moved. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so I need another. Have you finished now? Yep. Oh, I was getting bored. 300 mils? Perfect. You've been accurate. Yeah, very. It's always about attention to detail, you know. Isn't it? Good. That's all of it, isn't it? Yep. And you're going to pop the funnel in the jug now, aren't you? Yep. Oh, you are too good. Jeez. <laughs> you can come back and again. I'm screw this back on? Yep, pop that back on. And it only needs to be finger tight, it doesn't need to be tightened up with the pliers. Okay, there we go. That 
reminds me of that uh, photo <laughs> shoot you did. <laughs> it's quite scary, actually. <laughs> right, so you can lose the gloves now if you want. Yes, thank All you right. very much. I reckon we've got enough oil in there, but we're going to check it properly. Yeah. What we need to do, what you need to do, Anna, is yeah. uh, we're going to restart <laughs> the engine. Okay. Okay. We're going to leave it running for maybe a minute or so. Turn it off, let it drain down, and then check the oil level. Okay. And on this particular bike, it's not a dipstick, it's just a cyclist. And one thing to bear in mind is we shouldn't be filling the oil level to the maximum. And that's very important. The reason for it is the engine's not at full operating temperature. Okay. What happens is as your engine warms up, so does the oil. Mm -hmm. And the volume of the oil expands. Okay, yeah. right. So the oil level will actually go up as the engine's warming up. Nice. So it should only, only really reach the maximum point when it's at full operating temperature. Okay. Cool. And a lot of people make a mistake of filling them up to the maximum mm. when the engine's cold. Then they wonder why they're getting oil in the air filter. Ah. Yeah, it's not good. Right, can you start the bike for us? Sure can. Cool. Right, so while you start it, I'm going to take the lead. So you're going to red. important if you, if you look down here actually you can see you can see the sight less and you'll probably see the oil level will start, oh, yeah. will start to go up mm -hmm. okay Hannah if you watch in the sight glass there look you see you can't see any oil at all at the moment mm -hmm. and you've got the low and the high marks yep. the full mark and you'll see as the as the oil drains down in the engine that level is going to slowly go up and we need to wait until it stops going up okay and that's our level and ideally we want it about halfway. All right. It's looking pretty good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Brilliant. Awesome. That's it. Job yeah, done. Super. Nice work. Well, there you go, crew. A nice, simple, quick oil change on a Suzuki GN250. And that oil change procedure would really apply to any year of Suzuki GN250. They're all pretty much the same. So, Hannah. So, it, Andy. Did you enjoy that? I did. Yeah, and I had a... Do an oil change. You do. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be doing it on your car one day. Who yeah, knows? Please. Yeah, for sure. Save you a few bucks at the garage. Well, mm. yep. Get you dirty again. Yeah, why not? Yeah. So um, if you enjoyed the video, why not subscribe to the channel? Click on subscribe, you'll see a little gear icon turn up, and then you can tick the box and turn on notifications. And then that way our friends down at YouTube will send you an email as and when I upload any new videos. Right, you need to stand here now. Yep. Actually, actually, nice. <laughs> you can eat up that, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I might keep that, Okay, uh, you'll also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google, and Twitter. Excellent. Okay, crew, well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheers. Over and out. <laughs>